Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome once again to Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review. And what are we movie reviewing? Blue Thunder. Blue Thunder. What does Jaffo mean? What does a Jaffo mean? I know what it means, but it's not good to say. Just one. another freaking Blue observer. <laughs> Blue Thunder, I gotta say, was one of my all-time favorite movies. And I have to say this because you don't get to say it too much. No, no, it's it's and kind it's of like, those lost treasures. It, yeah. Because it, 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 it but, came out right at the time you had a lot of, like, sophisticated um, technology-based things. Because the one thing they take in this movie... Is that the technology that was on this helicopter was what was in use in military helicopters at that time? <laughs> oh yeah, so oh it yeah. Was. It wasn't, in, but in, in, yeah, I think at the time you had Airwolf at this time period. You had um, I think Airwolf didn't it come out just shortly after that. Shortly, it was like closely the, based on that, and then but it had and, its own different. I loved Airwolf too. Anything that flies, I love anything. That and then they also had uh, Street Wolf. You had um, <sighs> Night Rider. You had those particular yeah, street hawk street hawk. Hawk. yeah the yeah, motorcycle yeah, yeah street hawk and, uh, then, and and that's but, the thing i mean it was at a time period where it was cool to have this cool technology and you'd be the only one yeah. to know how to use it but now the thing i love about what about blue thunder is, is the, actually i loved the whole storyline yeah because what they're doing was is in los angeles and they got this police helicopter that they want to to use and the only thing is, in, in the United States, there's a laws against police helicopters being armed. Yes. And, of yes, course, we know much. this. The, the, uh, the Blue Thunder was armed to the armed teeth. Armed to the teeth, man. I mean, I mean the 20-millimeter Gatling gun. I mean, I love the helmet that moved, <coughs> that moved the gun. Like, the and helmet can move the And that's exactly what was what's in the Apaches and the Cobras. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, I mean, they were... Yeah, the one thing that they don't have is that silent sound. I mean... The way the, the silent way mode. The way the, yeah. That's the only thing I was, didn't have. That's the one thing I kind of thought. But, silent mode. But I want to talk before we get into it. I want to talk some statistics about Blue Thunder itself because I mean I love like I, said, yeah. I love the helicopter. I love the overall design. When they decided to go into it, they went with um, the British. Uh, I think it's called Aerolette helicopter, and it had a round, you know, some like a semi-round cockpit. Mm -hmm. So what they did, they went in and designed it uh, for the movie, and they put in this modern version that was, you know, sort of flattened out and everything. And they put the gun system up here with all the, the infrared and all that stuff in it. And what it did, it actually changed up the, the whole weight, weight system. And it kept so it became, to ride like so this. So it was nose heavy. So that's why when you see it in the movies, it's flying like this because... It's nose heavy. Of course, he also brings out the tension in the movie. So he's like, well, wait, 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 well, it's nose heavy. You know, but they already knew that before the movie was in. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. But, but it still made a heck movie. Why? Because not only did you have the movie, but a TV series came out right after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had, uh, of course, Bubba Smith. Um, and I can't think of the, the other football player that was with him uh, who was in it. And I can't remember who the pilot was, played the pilot, but I do remember who Jaffa was. Garth. <laughs> Garth. <laughs> Garth. <laughs> <laughs> and when I see that, I'm like, and who's Garth? I'm trying to think of his name. I can't even really remember his name. No offense. <laughs> Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Garth. Remember who Garth is? Yeah, I know Garth is just the actor's yeah. name. Like Dana. Dana something. Uh, I forgot. Dana something. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it looked like mean, a yeah, okay. but, yeah, but Dana. Uh, or he actually played Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey played Jaffo. Like he played the Jaffo in in the TV series. And then to see him on, yeah, uh, on the funny stuff doing later is like, but uh, yeah, actually did a good job. I actually like the TV show as well. Um, um but and then I want to get into the way Roy Scheider played his pilot character of him trying to make sure he wasn't getting, you know, keeping his PTSD in check. He knows he has PTSD. He knows he has post traumatic stress. He knows it, but at the same time, he's doing that time watch thing where if he. Keep his mind straight. Yeah, because they say if you begin to break, if you don't, rem if you f five seconds feels like thirty seconds or something like um, that. You but can't tell but his PTSD was really cool come into play because he was going up against the colonel. Yeah, that he had got to go up against and had issues with 
in Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's where the, his old military thing comes back from, from Vietnam. And of course, a lot of pilots came back. They went into law enforcement and flew the flying helicopters and stuff. I mean, so it's a very I, I accurate. Give away a lot of movies. If you haven't watched it, we urge you to, to go watch it. You actually. Oh yeah. Daniel Stern, another great comedian. He's, he, 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 but he plays Jeff. He plays Jaffo, and he and does he a plays great Jaffo job in this, and he does a great job. And but at the same time, what I love about you, know, and that's the thing I guess with with the time, because pilots uh, would always tease their. They're observers. Now, I used to be an observer in Civil Air Patrol. I was a observer, observer for my pilots. Yeah, I was just a Japo. Yeah, you so were I, a Japo. I wore a Japo. <laughs> I observed, was on the ground looking for plane stuff. Uh, but at the same time, to see these two guys who now are famous comedians playing a serious role. Now, we know, well, we know what happened. I ain't going to say it to yeah. but we know what happens to Daniel Stern's character. Yeah. But And we know what happened to Dan Carvey's character. Yeah. Nothing. But we're not going to tell you what Stern. But what it gets into is these guys, we'll just, and I don't want to say I want to give the movie away. But I it's, want to put it, it's, it's a it's a good action film, but on top of being a good action film, it's a good mystery thriller, too. It is. And, and they and, were able to balance that very well. It flows very well. Because when you get to you find a lot of conspiracy and, and a lot of stuff going on and the... Uh, and you see the firepower, the the, the that's and, and it's just like yeah. why? Why would you even use this? Um, on a and that's what they're trying to have a big. Let's put it this way: they are. You do have this group who is trying to have this big right in Los Angeles where they can get. Hey, the only way we can control this right is to use force. This right here, and that's what they want to use it on. Yeah. And. But the colonel, like I said, the the colonel, he's a British colonel, and he's you know corrupt. He's, he's with all these other people, and so and and of course Malcolm McDowell plays the colonel, Malcolm and Malcolm McDowell, McDowell and when excellent Malcolm, actor, yeah, excellent. And when he plays a bad guy, he plays he's a, a bad, bad guy. guy, and that's the thing. He and even to see him as a good guy, he's not completely clean mm. <laughs> either. No, but no. at the same time. When I saw the movie, I think I was about 13 or 14 when I saw it, because it was on TV, and um, I started watching I'm like, I'm hooked. I've got to see the rest of this. I, got I went to the big screen and watched it. Bam! Ah. Lucky. Uh. Lucky. <laughs> but, like I said, it's, um, it's a good action film, but it's also a good mystery thriller, and... It's a good all-around movie. movie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because they balance every, everything. It's got everything that you, it's that you could ever want to a movie. It's got. And then also it's got, your leading lady, your leading lady, uh, Candy Clark, who she doesn't do a whole lot of big roles throughout film. She was in American Graffiti. She played, I think, in Buffy the Vampire Slayer as her mother. And I think but the thing about it in this movie here, she's she's his constant. She is his constant timepiece. Yeah, I guess that's what you can say. You know, he's always like that, but she's the one that's always keeping him on time, keeping him. And and, and also, and the he's one, the when it comes down to that point, the she's the one that actually saves his life by and, getting the information that he's got to go to. It's also showing the fact that she's the only one that he trusts. And on top of that, she's always got his back. And that's the thing. She doesn't play it off, oh, he's crazy, he's nuts, or anything like that. I can't. No, she's got his back no matter what. No matter what. And, and like I said, when she's got to deliver the the, the, the film the film and everything, she's And I love that scene at the drive. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, just don't give it away. Yeah. You gotta go watch it. So we're gonna go cut this one short because there's just like I said, if you love There's too much in it. If you love Daniel Stern, you're gonna love this. You're gonna well. Roy Shot if you're a fan of Jaws, if you're Roy Jaws, Shider, Roy Schneider, uh Shider is just I mean, I've seen him play in some some movies, but this one and Jaws is is. I liked him better than this than I did Jaws. I mean, it just I just <laughs> I liked him in the Jaws. French, I just couldn't get. I him. liked him in the French Connection but, as well too. So I mean, I, I was going to say, and you beat me to it. <laughs> French Connection was awesome, so, movie. and that's the thing. Like he, but he's played in so many good movies and so many good. And parts. and you know who he's the father? What superhero or hero is father of? The Punisher. When they did the Punisher, he was his father. Oh, the one with uh, I can't remember his name, but yeah, well, I just, just but it's got that. John Travolta in it. John, the, well, the punch for John Travolta. That's a good version of it, and, and Thomas Jane. 
Yeah, yeah, totally. And, and we had to what did the punch about? Thank you. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did well. I, okay, yeah. The bad part oh, about this is I don't have yeah, that version so, of the punch. So, uh, so Blue Thunder. If uh, oh, let's do this, man. Um, let's just go on a rating from one, one to five time. stars. As far as entertainment, I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna give it five. I give it five. I'll give it five, five star. Um, as, as far, far as, as as life, real life, I'm gonna give it a two and a half, three. Well, because it's not actually based on anything. Yeah, I give it a. I'm gonna give it a four because the simple fact is the technology. I'll give it. Is a, there. I'll, I'll get. I'll give it a straight three because they did have the silent mode and that. that that's why it's not a five. But I did give it. I will give it. Uh, uh, about a, a, a three and a half. I'm yeah. sorry, I'll give it. A, uh, I'll, I'll give it a four. I'll give it a three. Fact, I'll, I'll give it a four three. because of simple fact: the the equipment stuff in here, some of the Vietnam food stuff. I know it happened. Oh yeah. Uh, we oh, all know it's oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh so, yeah. And um, so some stuff that's based on actually is real. That's why I get. But I'm gonna give it a four on as far as like I said, the silent mode and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. The actual helicopters being capable. Actual no. But they do have helicopters now. There's fairly close. <laughs> Fair, fairly close. Yeah, that will eat you up. Yeah. Well, we and, have uh, drones now, so yeah, you don't we, even have to have yeah. a pilot. <laughs> so, uh, and as far as the popcorn, one to ten. Let me do ten. Get a ten. So I'm gonna give it a ten. So we got a popcorn award of twenty. Ta-ra! So go watch. Blue Thunder. Thunder. Get it. Sit down. And watch. And if you don't got it, go buy uh, Game, Game Store and Marion. And Marion. Marion, North Carolina, baby. Woohoo! Get you a copy.